Cool. Perfect. Nice. Thank you. And this is my penis. <laughs> you can blow it out. <laughs> I'm Frank. People know me as Laconic Frank at Fat Life. I'm a shagger and a swinger. Um, I joined the scene about four or five years ago um, when I was working for a fetish magazine in East London and I quickly met some individual that took me to some group sex situation and I discovered a bunch of really nice people there. What I like the most about being a swinger is the open communication with my partner, my play partners or all my friends in this community. Um, there's a very good sense of community once again because we are constantly sharing about our needs, sexual needs, but also our preferences, also our fears, our limits, or also just in general how we feel on a day-to-day -day basis. And just talking and sharing is something very, very important that we get uh, to the maximum then by being uh, open. <laughs> I wouldn't say that a one-on-one -on -one relationship is impossible for me to uh, consider anymore. But um, having tried and tasted to group sex, and also I like to say that you usually remember the first time you had sex with someone with your partner, but also you remember the first time you have sex in a group sex situation, like seeing people fucking in front of you is just so beautiful and the experience is just so magical. It's like watching a movie or being at a theater or on a, almost an opera, there's so much magic going on that this um, setup is so important to me um, in terms of expressing yourself or seeing people having fun, having pleasure, and just being truly themselves is so, is so important. So going on a one-to-one -one situation where you just lock yourself in the bedroom, you close the window, fuck in the dark, that's something I would barely be able to consider um, at all. So I don't know about the symbolic in uh, Tom Tom Grass or mostly the ones in the UK. I know some in, in France. Uh, I like that the, uh, this community has some little uh, cheeky signs, like maybe you can leave a mark on your mailbox or on your car. Just also a simple way of saying hello in a group situation. It can lead you to think that someone can be sexual or a swinger. Uh, that's very important <laughs> to keep it secret, I would say. But also uh, to bring a little bit more poetry because what's, what, what's more beautiful than having a nice pampa grass in your garden and just share your kinkiest behaviors. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 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 would, I would definitely uh, um, start the conversation early on. Like, that's part of me, this, this is who I am and I, I live my life through sex in, in this manner and I want my partner to, um, to, to know me also uh, like this. I, I don't want to, uh, to hide this um, part of me. No, that would be sad to uh, not be uh, truly fully who I am. Initiating a group sex um, situation is not very, very simple. There's a lot of uh, pre-discussion done beforehand. Uh, a lot of things happen on WhatsApp, on group, group text. People will be uh, sharing their limits, their hard limits, their preferences, or their probably also their fragility towards something. So, um, consent in, in group text would be very, very, very open. People, people would just never uh, want to be put in a situation where they have to do something against their will. This is definitely something that would just never happen. But at the op at more the opposite, if someone is happy to do something, people will be. Uh, supporting into the direction and, and and therefore there's yeah there's a lot of pre-discussion um, in place and we want people to have fun more more importantly and people to feel themselves and 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 just express themselves so yeah definitely yeah, verbal communication and prayer pre uh, pre dialogue.
it's really tough for me to think of what my future is going to look like because four years ago I had no idea I'd be sitting here on this chair talking about my shagging experiences. But in a manner, uh, being in an open relationship or being swinger or uh, being part of this sex um, group sex community is something shared with my partner and if my partner wants to go and explore, explore more of the uh, open relationship we'll be doing this together while if at any given moment she wants to close it uh, or they want to be more focusing on, on single on this we'll be doing this together so um, being on the one-to-one -one, I think is, is definitely of course a conjunct conversation that I will be taking to, together um, but yeah, I'm never alone into this. I'm, I'm always with my partner and going together and, and doing this for, for us. I can't think of myself doing a one-on-one -on -one, uh, anymore. That would be uh, missing out a lot on all the human experiences because um, the way I see my exploration into the king, but also into the group sex community is by sharing, constantly sharing. There is a lot of uh, um, yeah, learning with people, learning about you can be a king, can be a fetish, it can be also just pure psychology or um, human relationships or just growing. So being on one-to-one -to -one would mean that I would be sharing um, this experience with only one individual, which doesn't mean that it would be uh, was nonetheless, it would be just a little bit tighter. So I like things wide and open and and fluent and fluid. <laughs>